Hey guys, another Blender video here. This one is about basic animation. Nothing fancy like character animation, but just something to get the job done if you want to make a, a simple scene. So here we go. Let's get started. As you can see here, I have three Suzanne heads. Let me play the animation for you. Uh, just on your keyboard, hit Alt A. All right. As you can see, this one went the fastest. This one went medium. This one went the slowest, and it's just repeating itself. Hit the escape key to get out of that. Alright, so I'm, I have selected this, the uh, slowest head. And you can see down here, these are keyframes. Let me make this window a bit bigger. Okay, these are keyframes. And it sh it, this depends on how wide apart you key the frames, is how fast or how slow your character will move. Now, if I click on my... Uh, second head there's just 10 frames in between it which mean which means it moves more smoothly not as fast as this one but it's not as slow as this one either if I click on this one you can see the frames are more spread out making it slower here the frames are more compact making it faster so it depends on what you need like a uh, throwing a ball that would you know make uh, closer keyframes than having it slow or unless you want it in slow motion whatever you want Alright, so these are keyframes, these yellow uh, sticks or whatever, and they tell your object what to do once that green line hits it. Alright, so let me go to a different layer, and let's add another head so I can show you how to do it. So shift A, add monkey. I'm going to control 2 to smooth it out. Alright, now our green bar is at the first keyframe. So while it's at the first keyframe, this is going to be the resting position for the head. Hit I, and a menu keyframe menu will come up. Since we're only going to rotate it and not move its location, or scale it, just hit rotation. All right, so Blender has made this very easy for you in your key arrow keys. Um, if you hit the up arrow key, it'll move you forward 10 keyframes automatically. If you hit the side left the right arrow key, it'll move it one keyframe at a time. So just again, just depends on what you're doing. The easiest way to do it, to move faster, is just hit the up arrow key, move to the second keyframe. Now at this point, now that we're at this keyframe, we can hit R to rotate and just hit 90 degrees and enter. Now we hit I and click rotation. So we've just set another keyframe, as you can see it turned yellow. So now let's hit the up arrow again and rotate the monkey hit I and rotation and here we set another keyframe so this is telling it what to do between uh, this is telling us our starting points what happens in between is something that happens in the interpolation menu which is something much more difficult and I won't go through it now uh, once we move on to another keyframe rotate your monkey again hit I and click rotation one more time, up arrow key, rotate 90, hit I, and rotation. Now, depending on how long your scene is, is how short you want it to end. But, since I have this other slower monkey head over on this layer, the lowest it can be is what I said. That's why the I said it's 82, because that's the lowest number of keyframes I have. If I were to move this back to 250, which is the default uh, it will run through um, and not do anything let me show you so 250 is the default hit alt a and it starts right there and it just keeps going because there are no keyframes right here so nothing is moving which is why uh, you want to set it down to maybe one keyframe after so this is 81 so it's going to be 82 that way it can just cycle through now it starts over and these join in but then a keyframe ends for them here, but the this one's still going. Let's check out our other monkey. There we go. If I right click on him, we can see the keyframes for him, but there's nothing here, which is why he stops. Now if we wanted to, to hit escape to get out of that, we could up arrow, rotate 90 degrees. Oops. Rotate 90 degrees again. I and rotation up arrow, rotate 90 degrees, enter. I rotation, up arrow, rotation 90 degrees, I rotation. Oops. 
one more time. Alt A. Now you can see he keeps moving in a circle. Now it's very important that you set your frame before you actually move your object. But that's how you have to set the frame, move the object, and then insert insert the keyframe. So let me make this end 102. Give us two more keyframes. Up arrow. So now let's say I want to move my monkey. I would make sure that you move your keyframe up to 90. Up arrow. Grab your monkey and move on to the side a couple units. I, this time just location and rotation, just to be safe. This is, the location and rotation is easier to do than to just say location and rotation, which is why Blender has made it that simple for us. Alright, so now we can go up arrow again, grab it, and let's move it up here. I, and just set that location. Alright, so now let's move back a couple keyframes, and you can see it moving. Let's hit Alt A. And this is right here is my fault. You see our monkey starts over here instead of over here? That is because our first keyframe right over here um, was only rotation. It should have been location also. But So just whenever, remember when you're doing yours, if you're going to rotate it and scale it or move location eventually, you want to set that first. Which is why he starts over on this side and then mo ends up moving over here instead of coming over here to here to here. I don't know if you guys understand through the computer screen, but that's how it works. Um, that's basically it for character animation. You just have to remember, uh, set the frame. So up arrow to move up 10 frames. Uh, move your objects and then set the keyframe, hitting the I button and picking location, rotation, or a combination of all those. Alright, I hope this helps any Blender beginners out there, and thanks for watching.